All right, here we go. We're uh, June 2011 exam. We're on page 15, questions 81 through uh, 85. That's going to do it for us. Uh, using a protractor, determine the angle of incidence of the light ray as it enters the transparent block. So it wants us to physically measure this. Keeping in mind that to measure an angle, you need two reference points. And I'm going to take this normal and make it longer. So it intersects the uh, parts of my protractor. And then I put the protractor on it. I line it up with one. Line it up with the normal so it's perfectly lined up with the normal. We're to see right there. And I'm getting, uh, what do you figure, 10, 20, 30, 41? Maybe 41, maybe 42? I could zoom in there, but uh, I can look with my eyes. I'm going to call it 41 degrees. Why not? Use a retractor to determine the angle, and that's for a point. 41 degrees. Now, and the degrees uh, is already there. Apparently a unit. Make sure you put degrees down. That seems to be important. Okay, 82 and 3. Two points. Calculate the absolute indices of refraction for the medium of the transparent block. Show all work, including the equation, and substitution with units. All right, so let's list our knowns. Angle of incidence is 41 degrees. Now keep in mind, if you made a mistake here, you lose that point, but then if you use it properly here, your teacher will have to recalculate, and if the uh, recalculated answer using your new uh, angle is right, then you get full credit for it. So make sure you do all your steps right. Even if you don't know what you're doing, uh, here, make something up and then, uh, and then try to use it properly here. The angle of refraction is uh, drawn for you. It's 20 degrees. And we're in air. So the material we're in, N1, is air. And we're going into uh, something else, N2. All right, let's go see if we can't find any uh, formulas that deal with rays of light and angles and stuff like that. And uh, waves? Will I do it in waves? Sure, why not? We got this wave thing going here. We've got um, this thing, N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. Angle of incidence, angle of ref reflection. And also angle of refraction, absolute index of, ref of refraction. So uh, I'm going to do I'm gonna do this. I'm going to say it's uh, n1 sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2. I, uh, I'm in air, so I know n1. Um, I suppose you're wondering how I know that. Uh, there's a list of them. It's got, there it is. Absolute indices of refraction. Air is 1.00. <laughs> I told you I know it. Oh, you didn't think I did? Okay. I don't know what I'm going into, and that's what we're at looking for. So I'm looking for N2. So I've got the formula N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. I want to get N2 by itself. I divide both sides by sine of theta 2. All right. That's my equation. N2 is equal to N1 sine theta 1 divided by sine theta 2. Well, now you got a calculator, and you got to make sure you're in degree mode. If you left it in radian mode from math class, you're up a creek. So I always do uh, the sine of 30 degrees. So I type in 30 degrees and hit sine. It should be 0.5. I'll get that one memorized. There it is, 0.5. Do you see how it paused there? It took a little bit of time. 30 degrees, hit the sign button. It's thinking. My old, uh, old calculator had lights on it, LEDs that lit up. And when it thought like that, it made little noises. Like, seriously, little robot beep, 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 noises. You had to put your ear right to the calculator, but it was the coolest thing. All right, so let's, uh, let's set this up. Um, N1 is 1. Here, technically, I really don't have to include 1. It doesn't have units to it. It's just a number. Uh, but I don't want to make a stupid mistake here. So I say the sine of 41 degrees. And I divide that by the sine of 20 degrees. So let's see. 41 degrees. Hit the sine button. 
and divide it by, you know, I put the parentheses in there because I don't know if I'm making a mistake here, 20, hit the sign button, hit my in parentheses and there should be an answer. And it's 1.91. So the index for a fraction of this stuff, and 2 is 1.91. And uh, I wish I could go tell you what that was. 1.92 is zircon. It could be a zircon. Whatever that is. All right, let's see. Calculate the speed of light in the transparent block. Show all work, including the equation and substitution with units. So now they want the speed of light. Okay, this is probably another formula somewhere. So let's do this. Uh, let's see, what do I know about this? I know N1 is 1.00, theta 1 equals 41 degrees, theta 2 is 20 degrees. I bet you I'm going to need N2 somewhere in there, 1.91. And uh, let's see, let's go to my formulas. And the speed. Here it is. N1 is to, or N2 is to N1 as V1 is to V2. So N2 is to N1 as V1 is to V2. All right, we're looking for, um, for V2. We want to know well, the velocity in air is going to be, uh, we did this in a previous problem, that's 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, speed of light in a vacuum, or air is close enough, and it's 1.00. And so we're looking for V2. Well, you know, I can do this in my head, but they want to see the substitution with units. So uh, let's do this. I'm going to do the cross multiplying. I'm going to say V2, N2 times V2 is uh, equal to uh, N1 times V1. And so if I divide N1, V1, divided by N2, that should give me my V2. Does that look right? They do that right? All right, let's go with it. So 1.00 times 10, uh, or times uh, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And I divide that by uh, 1.91. I ever get this pencil to work. 1.91, and that should give me my velocity in the material. And it should be a smaller number. It should be less. And it looks like it's going to be. So this is, uh, and this is what I knew what to do before I even started. 3 exponent 8 divided by 1.91. And I've got um, 1.5 times 10 to the 8. All right, that one is done for us.